Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll talk about labels in SwiftUI so let's get straight into it. So in some cases you may want to place an SF symbol next to some text. Now you may be thinking that something like this is valid so let's just type this out now. So what we have here is a HDAC and within our HDAC we're saying that we want to have an SF symbol here, paint palette and next to it we want to add some text here called pick color. Now this is valid but we actually have a control in SwiftUI that allows us to do this in one line rather than using three controls. So let's see how we can actually do this. So this control is called label. So what we want to do is just delete this. And instead, if we just type out label and then create an instance of it, you'll notice here that you have a bunch of different um, options that you can actually give it. Now, the one that we're going to focus on for now is title, where we actually give it a string and a system image which is a SF symbol but you'll also notice that you have other options here where you could actually define the localized key if you're working with localizations and there's also another option here called image which is to do with assets and we'll get to this where you can actually create your own custom labels so let's just select this option here where we have title and system image and in here we're just gonna type out some stuff so I'm just gonna do that now so notice how on the right hand side within our SwiftUI preview, we have the exact same control and we've done all the everything the exact same, but this time just got one line rather than having three controls. We spoke about how we can add in SF symbols, but this time let's actually look at how we can do the other asset and add in something like an image. So I'm going to put this in a VStack by holding down command on my keyboard, selecting it and then choosing the option to embed it in a VStack like so, so we can actually compare it with the other option. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out label again. And then this time when we create an instance of it, we're going to use the option here where we have the title and the image name, which is the asset that we defined in our asset catalog that will show off in a second. So in here, we're just going to type out funds dev thumbnail. And then the image here needs to match the image name that you declared in your asset. So if we go to the assets folder, you'll notice that I have an asset here called logo dash thumbnail. And it's also worth noting that the size of this asset is 50 by 50 pixels. And the reason why that is, is because when you're using images in the example that I'm showing you now, you can't control the specific size of that image. It just renders whatever you've exported the image size of. So you need to be wary of that. So if we just copy the name of this asset and then place it inside of image and then hit resume, you'll notice that we now get the tons dev logo next to some text similar to how we have our SF symbol and it's rendering it at the size that I've exported the image at. So I mentioned before that you're actually able to add in your own custom labels if you wanted to as well. So we would have our own custom view on our label and our own custom view for the image view. So we define a custom view for this part and a custom view for this part as well. So let's see how we can do this by adding an image and a subscribe channel capsule within a label and it's going to live within a link that opens up to my YouTube channel. So I actually talk more about links in my video link in SwiftUI as well. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to create our link first and then we're going to add our label in. So I'm just going to type this out. So what we have here is we have our link and we define our destination. And then within this closure here, this is where we're going to define um, the view that we want to wrap our link around. So we want to choose label and then within label, we want to choose the option here that gives us a title and an icon because these are two closures where we return a title and an icon. So for the title, we're going to give it some text and for the icon, we're going to give it an image. So I'm going to type this out and then break it down. So in our first title closure here, we have some text that we've applied some modifiers onto. So we've made it bold, give it a white, white foreground color, added some padding, give it a background color of red and also added a clip shape of capsule. And if you want to learn more about shapes, I have a video called Shapes in SwiftUI that you should check out. And we also have an icon on the image in the icon part here where we're using an image from our assets catalog and then we're just sizing it and then clipping another shape onto it. So this whole view is wrapped around and linked view, but you can see here 
that by using our own custom labels, we get the same effect where we get an image on one side and text on another side. So in order to see this working, what we actually need to do is actually run this on a simulator and then tap it. So let's run this on a simulator now. And now on our simulator, if we actually tap on this here, you'll notice that it opens up the Tons Dev YouTube channel. So now if I go back, you can see here now that um, we're able to create our own labels that are being wrapped around a link. But there's also something else that we can do. So let's actually just stop running this and remove our simulator. There's actually something else that we can do if we wanted to. We can actually create our own custom label styles as well. So labels can be styled using the label style protocol on a strut. And you may be wondering, what is the benefit of you creating your own label style? Well, let's say, for example, if we had this like code here and we were using it in multiple places we wouldn't want to have to copy and paste this entire view over and over and over again instead we wanted to create some kind of style that allows us to get this specific effect so what we're going to do is actually see how we can create our own styles so in order to do this let's just open this up and then we're going to create a new file within our test project by hitting command m and we want to create a new swift ui file and what we're going to do is call this file label dot label plus capsule style. So let's do that now. And the reason why I've given this this naming convention is because this is what we're targeting. So we're targeting the label view and this is the style that we want to create for it. So we're going to create two styles within this file. And the first one we're going to create is just a simple capsule style. So I'm going to type this out and then break it down. So when you're working with styles, the first thing that you need to do is actually create a struct with a name for your style and then use the label style protocol. By using a label style protocol, you'll then get this function, make body, which allows you to access the current label view that you're trying to apply that style onto. So if I was to just type in here, configuration dot, you'll see that we're able to access the title and the icon for that label if we wanted to. But what we want to do in this simple capsule style example is just apply a capsule um, effect onto the entire label that you see on the screen here. So we're going to pass in the configuration directly into another label and then apply some styles onto it. So let's do that now. So what we're saying here is the configuration for our label style, we're going to pass that into this label so we're going to pass in and get the title and the icon that we've defined it's going to be set for this label and then what we're going to do is apply some padding a background color and also clip it with a capsule as well so let's actually see how we can use this capsule style on a label so let's go back and i'm just going to copy this tons dev thumbnail one from the top here and then just paste it below the link like so and then in order for us to use our label style, we need to use the label style modifier. So let's just type out label style. And you can see that it takes in a view that uses this protocol, which is what we used before. So now let's type out capsule style. And if we render this in our Swift UI preview, you'll notice that we now get that capsule style. And we could easily use this on all the views that we wanted to that match this. So we don't have to keep on repeating ourselves. So we get this style for free. But what I want to do is I want to show you how we can actually take this up a notch and actually extract out the title and the icon to create an even more complex style. So let's go back to our file where we had our um, capsule style and we'll create another one called strong capsule. So this time it's a bit different. We actually have a color here that we can define and we also have a um, function here to make body, but this time we're actually creating a label and within this label, we're actually saying that for the title, we want to extract the title from the current label title. So the current label that we're working with, and we're going to apply some modifiers onto it. And then for the icon, we're going to display that within the configuration of icon. So this is very similar, except this time we're extracting out the title and the icon from the label that we're applying this style onto. So let's actually see how we can use this on our label. So I'm just going to go back to our content view and this time we're going to copy this again. But this time we're going to change this to strong capsule style. And then it's going to give us an error because it's expecting some kind of color. So let's give it a color. And this time we're just going to give it a color of red like so. 
And if you hit resume, So you should notice now that we get the strong capsule style, but this time it has the color red on it. And we get those styles that we define specifically on the label, as you can see here with the foreground white and the font is being given onto the label, but we don't apply any styles onto our image. But if we wanted to, we actually could increase the size and change our icon here with the modifiers available to us. So this is fine. But with Swift UI, you'll notice that when you're working with the modifiers, a lot of them use the dot notation syntax. So except from stuff like shapes and whatnot. So we can actually improve this. And rather than actually using the struct directly, we could actually use a dot notation. So what we're going to do is see how we can do this with both of them. So in order to do this, what we need to do is actually create an extension on, on label style and actually create our own static properties that our views are able to reference within their modifiers. So to show you an example, simple example of how you can do this with a style that doesn't have a property here, like color, I'll show you this now. So what we're saying here is we're applying an extension on the label style protocol and we're saying where the type is capsule style, we want to make a property available that creates this struct for us, which is why we're saying in it here. So because we're using a static variable, we're able to use a dot notation to create and access an instance of this property. So let's go back to our content view and we'll create a copy of this. But after our strong console style, rather than us using this struct like so, if we was to now do dot capsule, you'll now see that we're able to access our capsule style but using the dot notation. And if I actually resume this on the screen now, you'll notice that we get the same effect, but this time we're actually following more Swift UI guidelines in terms of like a style guideline. So there's nothing wrong with you doing this, but this just looks more Swift UI to me and it's just more readable and nicer. But what about in cases where you actually have the capsule style and in here we actually have a property that you need to set in the initializer. Well, what we can do is actually do the exact same thing, except this time, rather than it being a computed property, we would just create a function. So let's do that now. So what we're saying here is that rather than having a computed property, a static computed property, we've now got a function and we're passing in the color that we want. But this time I've defined a default value of red. If you don't want to give it a color, it'll just set it to red. And then we just pass that into the initializer when it creates this strong capsule style. So if we were to use this, what we could do is let's just copy this again. And then we'll just paste this below. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to type out dot. And you'll notice that we now have two options. So we have an option called strong capsule which allows us to get our strong capsule on the screen. If I just add that in, you should see it here in a second. So we now have our strong capsule. And if we wanted to, we actually could give it a color like so. So I could say dot purple. And this allows us to actually pass in values via a static function. And we get this nice Swift UI like syntax. So one other thing that you can do as well is you can actually use label styles on top of label styles because there's other styles you can use to actually hide icons and text. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm just gonna copy this here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can hide the icon for this label. So after the label style, let's just type in dot label style again. And if you hit the dot, you should see that you have some more options here. But what I want to do is I specify that I only want the title only. So now we only have the title. And if I only wanted to have the icon, what I could do is type here icon only. And now we only have the icon. Now there's another option here called automatic. And what automatic will do is dependent on the device that you're using. So if it's an iPad, iPhone, watch or Mac OS, whatever it is that you're on, it, the system will decide how best to handle the label. Okay, so that's everything in this video. So as usual, I really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, I really appreciate a thumbs up if you like this video. Also as well, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.